Hello, and welcome to another Pro Wrestling Dream Match. Once again, taken from the comment section. The following contest oh, hello, is an Faith. Extreme Rules Match. It is indeed. Making his way to the ring from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing 225 pounds, the United States Champion, Dean Ambrose. Look how he walks to the ring. Ambrose actually claims to be the solution to WWE's problems. So I may have forgotten to turn off commentary and the announcement. But uh, nonetheless, this is another match from the same Facebook post as usual from the comment section. And as you heard, an Extreme Rules match. I think the request was Hardcore or No DQ or some other variant, but they're all exactly the same. I don't know why WWE needs 35 different names. For matches where you can't be disqualified. But anyway, his opponent. And approaching the ring from Set Pocket, Long Island, New York, weighing 287 pounds, Mick Foley. Every time he walks to the ring, he sees the signs that read Foley is God. I guess, yeah, he probably does. Uh, so. Dean Ambrose, Mick Foley. It was specifically asked for Mick Foley. That's why we've done this one on 2K14. The only game with both Dean Ambrose and Mick Foley in it. Uh, we could have done a more recent game, but I wouldn't have known which face of Foley to use. Probably Cactus Jack is the closest to, you know, hardcore Mick Foley. But uh, far be it from me to make that judgment call. You asked for Mick Foley, you got Mick Foley. And I turned commentary off through the magic of video editing. Hopefully that was smooth, but... Who knows? Anyway. Dean Ambrose with the scoop and the slam. To kick things off properly after a little bit of an exchange of strikes. Now Dean Ambrose has a little bit of control over this one. Fires McFoley across the opposite corner. Runs in and just punches him in the head. And now McFoley seated in the corner. Oh, face wash by Dean Ambrose. Now McFoley trying to fight back here. Oh, there's a right hand straight to the face. That'll do it. Why do the fans keep randomly shouting, yeah? Why, why does that keep happening? Anyway, uh, I usually comment on the arena. This is Mick Foley's WrestleMania 22 attire. So I picked WrestleMania 22. For the simple villa. I uh, had the option of WrestleMania 16 or 22. WrestleMania 22 is one of my favourite WrestleManias that doesn't get enough love, in my opinion. One of my favourite underrated WrestleManias. So I thought I'd go with it. Why not? Anyway, Dean Ambrose about to take advantage of the Extreme Rules stipulation. Going outside, grabbing himself a chair. Oh, but Mick Foley, not his first rodeo. And he interrupts with a series of strikes, quite frankly. Pretty brutal. Now trying to pull Dean Ambrose's leg off. That'll slow him down. But now Ambrose sends McFoley back into the ring. But Foley's up. And now Ambrose going after another weapon instead of following Foley. And then again Foley cuts him off at the pass. So Ambrose seeming to get more of the idea at the moment that this is a weapons based match. But McFoley biding his time and just making sure he doesn't get hit with anything. And that was a side slam and I think he landed right on... Was it a kendo stick or something? And maybe the chair as well. Yeah, the chair reacted then as well. Ambrose not having a great time. Oh. That elbow almost came close to nearly getting the near hitting. But uh, a little bit more snug on the follow-ups. And then, oh, Mick Foley. Wild haymaker and Ambrose ducked it. And again, went for a weapon this time, taking a crutch. Of a member of the WWE Universe, but Mick Foley again having none of it, and the crowd chant, yes, for no reason again. Lovely. Seems to be pretty much every time they tie up for a grapple, I'm not sure why that's a thing in this game. Anyway, Ambrose now fired back into the ring. Mick Foley goes to follow him in, but Ambrose is up, takes advantage of maybe just Mick Foley being a step slower than he was in his heyday. And uh, now with the elbow to the back of the head. Mick Foley, despite being a couple of steps slower than he used to be, still no slouch, and he's got experience for days. 
Oh, and he almost just won it with a DDT. I was about to say, and he's just won. Like, a bit surprised, but no. Oh, okay. Mandible Claw. No Socko. Just straight up naked, Mr. Socko. Uh, is that it? Oh, there we go. The bell actually rings 10 minutes after the referee calls for it. And that is over. Mick Foley wins with the Mandible Claw. Uh, uh, that's a lot shorter than I thought it was going to be. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what dream matches you would like to see. If it's possible on a game, I will do it for you. And subscribe so that you get to see more video game simulations. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. And I'll see you next time.